Hi guys, Jay here, OMG Vapes, back again for another review and this time we're going to be looking at this. The all-in-one pod system from Limitless and Ply Rock. So come on then. So yeah guys, this is the all-in-one pod system from Limitless and Ply Rock. There she is, nice sleek little pod. The limitless brand on the back. Takes the sound little pod systems look. And just clipping this up. Very nice. I picked this up from Vape Club for $24.99 here in the UK. It's got a draw activated firing switch on it and some rather garish in my opinion LED lights. As you can see you can press that button there to change the colours. Talk through the colours. Let's have a quick vape on it. <sighs> nice flavour. And Limitless are a well known company. They did some work with Ardroy not long back with all them RDTAs. They've been out quite a while, so they've put their name on this and gone into a collaboration with Plyrock e-cigarettes. Now it's got a 350 mAh battery, it uses a 1.8 ohm coil and it just puts out 4.2 volts straight battery power. No regulation on it or nothing. Have a quick tip. Now the, the automatic switch on this is a bit finicky. Sometimes when you take a, a pull on it, you don't quite get the right drag on it and it sort of flickers on and off. So you don't get a, a proper drag. So it's, it's a bit awkward to get used to in that respect. It's non adjustable airflow. It's pretty tight. I would say it's made to lung only. No, you can't get a diet lung on it. Very, very tight diet lung. So, without further ado, we're going to dive down. I'm going to show you what you get in the box. I'm going to give you a quick overlook of the device and what it does. And then we'll come back up and talk more about it. So, off we pop. And here we go with a self-destructing packaging from the Pulse pod system. As you can see I've had to take the shit out of this because you can't help but rip the packaging when you open it. But I digress. The packaging. And in the packaging you get a spare pod. With some uh, rubber condoms and stuff and a spare bung for your fill hole. You get this uh, QR code for the website and all the guff what comes with it. You get this really nifty uh, USB cable, braided, very nice. And you get a very nice little needle nose bottle to fill up your pods. And here's the star of the show. The pod system from Limitless And ply rock. There's the limitless branding. You can see that. Limitless mod company. You got ply rock electronic cigarettes on the front and their their logo. 
all around around you got this glass plastic to let the LED shine through on the top you got your mouthpiece and that also acts as the top of the pod which you can just pull out there's your pod totally refillable they actually come empty so you have to fill them yourself with your own favourite juice that just pops in like so it's a bit tight to get in there but it does fit in you got a little window here I suppose you can call it a, a juice viewing window but I can't actually see the juice through there my eyesight ain't that good on the front in the shape of the company's logo you got a switch and what that does is it turns it on and off five clicks five clicks on five clicks off three clicks turns the LED off three clicks turns them back on and then you press once to skip through the different colors now they're a bit garish I personally I personally don't like LEDs all over my devices but there you go but it turns out on this you actually need them because without them you wouldn't know it was firing or not but I'll talk more about that when we get up top just leave it on the red that's pretty much it for the overview of the device Let's give it a quick measure from top to bottom it is 115ml side to side looking 17 and a half front to back is around 10ml quite a nice shape nice sleek looking design not too bad Now, to fill these pods, what you do is you take this top off. Be careful with this, dog guys, because I broke the, the one on the spare by pulling it off. Then, I don't know if you can see that, but you've got a little arrow for the side of the bung, what you pull out. And you just flip it out like so, and you get your juice. And just pop it in the end and fill up to the top, like so. Pop the bung back in. Pop the top back on. And then pop it back into the device. And there you go, all filled up, ready to vape. So that's it for the up and close guys. Let's get back up top and we'll talk more about it. Come on then. Right guys, pros and cons. My first biggest con is that automatic switch. I wish they'd just do away with that kind of system because it just does my head in. It's never worked since day one. They used to do it back in the day on certain devices and it just, in my opinion, it just doesn't work. I mean, they've already got a switch on here anyway for the LEDs and to switch it on and off. So why didn't they just make that a firing switch? It would have been so much easier. You could have just pressed that button vaped away and you could have controlled how much vape you get but this automated system it does the control of how much vape you get and it pisses me off so that's the biggest con for me sometimes you don't get a proper drag on it because for some reason you don't get a proper seal around the end and then the switch doesn't work properly it flickers on and off and it shuts off early so you don't get a proper drag it's just a uh, an absolute pain in the arse another con is that every now and then you'll get a bit of juice in your mouth from the, the opening which is not nice especially when you've got an ionic juice in there another con for me is the subjective con is the LED lights you don't want to walk around the street vaping away on this lighting up the whole show do you? you know for me it's just I'm just not a fan of LEDs. 
But luckily with this, you can actually turn them off. So that's a good thing. But it turns out you actually do. You need them on. Because without them, you wouldn't know you're getting a drag. Because you take a vape. See the LEDs light up? So you sort of look down as in taking a drag and you can see the lights on. So you know it's working. Without the LED lights on, you're just doing this. Because you ain't got a clue if it's, it's switched on or not. Oh, it's some pros. The only pros I can give it is the, the looks. It does look pretty de half decent. It's got quite futuristic looks. So it will appeal to some uh, of you younger guys out there. Another pro is the build quality and the fit and finish. It is pretty uh, pretty decent. It's made out of uh, quite rigid. You know, I can't actually tell whether it's plastic or aluminium. I'm not quite sure on there. It doesn't actually say on the website what it's made out of. No. I can't actually. Uh... So I can't actually vouch for that one. It does. It's... I'm not quite sure. It does feel like uh, aluminium, really thin aluminium, but it could be plastic. I'm not sure. But the fin fit and finish is pretty decent anyway. It's got nice branding on. The limitless branding. Nice and sleek. Not garish in your face. It's quite subtle. But it looks nice. And that's pretty much it for the, the pros guys. There's more cons than there is pros. Let's take another vape. If I can get a drag out of it. Pretty decent flavour. Not the best, not top notch flavour. But it's okay. Vapor production is pretty good. The battery life's half decent. Get a full day out of it. But the biggest thing for me guys, if I was a new vapor quitting the fags and I bought one of these, I'd end up giving back to the fags within a couple of days because the cons on this, it just puts you off. You try to suck the shit out of it to get a drag, you get juice in your mouth, you know, it's not it's not a pleasant experience. I can't give it a thumbs down, I can't give it a thumbs up, it's just look sort of in the middle. It's okay, it's not too bad. For the price, 20 quid, you're getting a decent bit of kit, but it could be better. They could have done it a bit better, so let's hope they bring out a V2. That should uh, address all the issues of this one, and then they should be good to go on that one. But as it stands with this, it's just not quite there yet. So that's it for the review on this, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you on the next one. And remember, smoking kills, choose life.